Well, I suppose this is as good a time a, a time to end the vlog to produce the ending segment of uh, the vlog for uh, December 31st, even though it is uh, uh, January 1st. Happy New Year. Uh, it is five hours and uh, just about 32 minutes into the day. And uh, I'm just getting up once again. It's said in one of these oscillating sleep modes uh, because there's no delivery today, so the door doesn't open. Uh, so I'm taking stock of the dreams I'm having of various different dreams. This is where chances to go over them and sort of think about them for a bit. Oh. You assess the journey in many ways because the the journey. If you're a lucid dreamer like I am, the journey isn't only in when you're awake. Your journey is when you're asleep as well. Uh, the different experiences you have in the dreams, the, and they are experiences, uh, uh, are in many ways they're akin to traveling, but they're also a they they are a an indicator of who you are, of how you feel, how you approach different problems and situations. Uh, Amongst the more cryptive uh, type of dreams where uh, you try to end up, uh, we try to sort of see if there are any predictions. I've given up on predictions. Yeah, maybe there are predictions there, maybe there is something else there, but I, I think that the more important aspects of the dream are your own sense of how you handle things, where you are on a path. And so what happens is that it, it, it is often, more often, and this is because more often than not my dreams, the dreams don't, not that they don't end well, they just don't end the way I anticipate they're going to end. I never have, oh, I'm, the dream is going to go this way and it's going to end this way. Always beyond what I expect, always beyond what necessarily what my capacity is. Uh, so that there's always something to strive for the next day because, uh, well, I haven't achieved everything I thought I should have achieved. And, and as you sit down and you do the assessments, it's, it's more like a, a bumbling. It's, you know, you stumble through the dream uh, from event to event, uh, issue to issue. Sometimes you're successful at it, sometimes you're not successful at it. Uh, You're not actually the, the 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 thing that you think you are. In other words, in many cases, your ego always portrays you. Uh, not only portrays you, betrays you. In your dream, is because you you, you think, oh, I've succeeded at this, I've conquered this. But then you're given the situation in slightly different manner. In your dream, and you haven't conquered it. You attempt to do what you think you should be doing or do the, doing the right thing, and you end up screwing up more than than you've ever done before. I mean, to the point where <laughs> you know somehow I end up ended up being sent to hell to do some task. Screwed up so badly that you know the head guy, the head demon came up, came up you know the the the. the what I presume would be the answer. Well, you know what? Things aren't just working out. You're, you're going to have to go. <laughs> and so you got to hear. You can hear thoughts all over the place here. Where'd he go? Where's Daniel? Fight him. Fight him. He's, I, I know he's touching something. He's going to destroy everything here. <laughs> you hear crashes and bangs. and it, This is my existence. My existence is not one of. Uh, in 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 several uh, the liturgies they have they talk about the metropolitan and you hear it in there he's the most supreme most proclaimed metropolitan well if I were a bishop when well, I am a bishop uh, I'm just not everybody's type of bishop I'm, I'm somewhat of a bishop I'm I, I I'm at the level of a bishop but you know I'm not most proclaimed uh, in the sense that where people Oh, he's such a wonderful bishop. Oh. I, I I screw up more often than not. 
my successes are are not necessarily successes in my own right. They're more or less successes uh, because I just didn't fail bad enough. In other words, fail bad enough. In other words, yeah, there's failure in there. I kind of got through things, but just barely. In other words, there's nothing to proclaim. I don't really have anything to be proclaimed about. But that's okay. You know, the 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 path that I'm on of Saint Nectarius was on this path as well. And when he was alive, he wasn't proclaimed. Most people didn't consider him to be anything significant. And a large chunk chunk of the time, he was re he was rejected. It's only years after he died that they began to realize he was saying something more significant. And then, of course, you have these bandwagoners. Oh, we were with him the whole time. We knew oh, he was such a great bishop. <laughs> now, you go back into history and see what they actually did. They destroyed his church. They're just sort of now butting up. Like, You're always with you, buddy. <laughs> You get, you know, you do have to have a sense of humor about yourself. Uh, <laughs> in terms of the reality of what you are and who you are, so you have the titles. Oh, I'm a guru. I'm a bishop. Well, what does that actually mean? Where, where, where do those titles come from, and how do you get to those titles? And the titles are just simply place markers of where you particularly are, and. Uh, 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 where you're coming out to be, and it does not necessarily mean I'm good or bad or indifferent or whatever. It's just that I'm at this position. But a lot of people will take, will, will get very hardy about, they'll get very offended. How dare you call yourself a bishop? And they'll show you what I've done wrong, and where I shouldn't be this, and I shouldn't be that. And it's not that I, it's not that I'm necessarily disagreeing with them. It's just. This is where I am right now. A, a, a bishop is a guru. Once you achieve a guru stage, you're at the bishop stage. Uh, and it's going to be good, it's going to be bad, it's going to be indifferent. It's, it's, you know, a lot of it has to do with how you see yourself, but the thing is, in many cases, even if you don't see yourself in such a good light, uh, if you're helping other people, you're talking to other people, and people are asking your advice, and you've become that guru. And I'm in that situation where I am in that guru situation. Uh, so the title bishop is appropriate. But it's not, it's not a level of, of, it's not a title. It's not a, a, a level or, or stature that I have. Uh, it is not a position. It is simply in terms of authority. It's simply a place marker where I am. It's where I am on the path. Now, in terms of how I look like a bishop, well, I've got the hair, I've got the beard. I just don't have the clothes because I can't afford the clothes. So, this is the way it is. It's I'm wearing what I can afford to wear. <laughs> and I still say, I have my, my mundane, the things that I enjoy that are mundane. I like doing laundry, I like watching the vlogs, I like my cartoons, I like sitting on the couch here, I like my, uh, my, my chocolate cereal and I'm a happy camper. I don't need uh, my enemy as my footstool. I don't need to be exalted. I don't need to be praised or you know other th flattery things. I don't need that. I don't, it's not something that necessarily appeals to me. But other people do. They, they, they want these things and they expect these things and they expect that of others who are going to be in their positions as, as they want to exalt them. Not my thing, not my idea. And this is how you do take a, you take assessment, you take stock in what you've done, where you are, where you're going. And this is how life proceeds. Getting up and saying good morning and happy new year. I'm 
saying Happy New Year and going to bed. <laughs> uh, switching my locations for work, actually. <laughs> I am off to work, off to do uh, some more research in the other realm, and the other uh, existence. Uh, so I thought I'd start today's video for uh, January 1st, uh, 2021 um, at around uh, 10.44 in the morning. And it's 10 hours and 44 minutes into the first day of January 2021. Uh, and it's, it's not an unusual thing to say that, or unexpected thing to say that I am knocked out. I am working more back here as a research desk. I do have more to get done. So it, it actually helps me out because it is warmer back here than it is in my front room, is where the gaming is. I, I did my gaming, I did my meditation. Uh, I finished what I needed to in terms of the meditation, in terms of the. Uh, the liturgy, the the uh, the prayer, the prayer uh, meditation was the, the liturgy. I finished that. That will be doing uh, later on today. I will do, be doing the Palaklisi. Uh I try to do as much as I can during the day, and but uh, sometimes uh, uh, things don't always work out. But you know that's kind of <laughs> the way the way things go. Is that uh, I do what I can and when I can, and we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Well, it's uh, just about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, and we haven't done much vlogging for today because uh, I've been asleep a lot. Uh, when you give yourself a break, even though it is 2 o'clock in the morning and on uh, January 2nd, uh, most of uh, uh, January 1st was spent in the other realm doing other, other work. Uh, You you actually end up thinking about things that you don't necessarily would necessarily think of. You do have to take some time off just to ponder things. It looks like you're kind of just sitting there and sleeping, but the the mind is still working. You're still sort of figuring things out. So in in many cases, as in terms of our life of cyborg alpha, work is still going on. Uh, if particularly if your work is studying and researching, and that's what mine is. So. Uh, it's school forever. It's uh, middle school for life because uh, the end point to where I'm going uh, in terms of knowledge and gnosis and uh, is infinite. And on the path of infinite knowledge, uh, uh, you never really get beyond middle school. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of like that forever. It's, it's kind of the way you feel. And yesterday was certainly no exception. And today it comes up as, as I sort of look at things and sort of observing, you stand back and you observe things. And watching what's going on. And the thing is, is that, can you ever tell when you're, when you, can you ever tell, those, do most people understand when they're in a matrix? Now they always talk about this matrix being red pilled and blue pilled. Just because you're red pilled doesn't mean you're woke. Was like, I'm woke, I'm woke, I'm woke. Well, not necessarily because you can be woke from, as I said before, I've mentioned this before, you can be woke from one dream into another. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're woke because you, you, you're you woke from, from one particular dream into another dream. So another you, you go from one matrix to another matrix. The question, how do you know when you're outside the matrix? How do you know you're outside the box that, the, that you've been put in? And this is sort of my ponderance as I'm sort of going through my different sources today, uh, uh, between Twitter, RT, and a couple other different sources that I'm not going to mention. I began to ask the question: Well, how many people who say they are woke, who say they've been red pilled, realize they're still within a matrix, that they're still being worked, they're still they're they're still well within a psyop. And psyop means, simply means a psychological operation. A large chunk of the world that we live in is, in some cases, an illusion because 
is not necessarily real. It is a perception of how we should be living, not necessarily the reality of life. The number of people who who stand up and say, "Okay, I've seen life. I want life. Uh, I'm going to live life as it is, without any sort of um, our own colorations in terms of how our ego sees things," are very few and far between. We all have, to some degree, have an image of who we are. And the danger is that the question is, will that image ever take over and sort of cloud our view and prevent us from seeing beyond ourself? Uh, this is the goal of, of a practitioner. The practitioner is, the, the first goal of a practitioner is to see beyond yourself, to diminish the ego, the ego, or, or should I say ego, because uh, ego is the Greek word ego, which means I. And you do want to see beyond that, That's because that's what, what sort of creates the perception of things. To see beyond yourself, to see, in many cases, the next goal would be to see through other people's eyes, and this is what happens with my, within my dreams, uh, as I become other people and other things, I see through their eyes. And the conditions that are that are presented to me uh, within these within the dream is how do I respond to these particular issues, these particular, uh, let's say, stimuli, if you want to get more in the clinical term of things. And the question is uh, that I, the, the, the thing the, the answer is that I can't tell you from point to point. I have a general idea of how I behave. Like I got say that. There are also cases where you make mistakes, that, where behavior that you thought you had sort of dealt with pops up again, and you're doing the wrong thing all over again, and you can decide to see yourself, you, you can sort of see yourself doing this. And understand that a train wreck is about to occur, but at the same time it never stops. It, it just, it, it rolls on, you just, you... You see it, you're aware of it, and the reality is, is that you realize that, that the things you had thought that you had conquered, you haven't. And so this is where a lot of this comes into and, and, and how it plays into things. And it, is it whether, whether the camera is on or not in terms of the vlog, it goes on. This is the way things are. So this isn't necessarily the end because it's just about two o'clock in the after, two o'clock in the uh, morning. Uh, it's sort of like a midpoint, and uh, we'll be coming back again for a, another discussion, and never, another conversation, or maybe a continuation.